Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're gonna make scrambled eggs. Now, I know what you're saying, scrambled eggs? I've been making scrambled eggs my entire life. Well, I have a few tips and tricks for you that will take your scrambled eggs over the top. Now, this video is dedicated to my good friend, Charlie. Thanks for the suggestion, Charlie, and I really appreciate your support and your subscription. So let's make scrambled eggs. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is crack six eggs into this bowl. And we're going to be feeding three people with this. We're going to make some breakfast burritos out of this. So we're going to go ahead and crack our eggs. Make sure you don't get any shells in it. And we're just going to beat these really good. Now you want to beat them till they're fully beaten because sometimes I don't beat them enough. And then when you cook it, you have a lot of white and yolk and they're separate. So you really want to make sure that you beat them up really good so the white and the yolk is thoroughly incorporated. Okay, now it's time to cook them. How you cook your scrambled eggs will really dictate how they come out at the end. So my problem in the past is I love salsa. So I would take my scrambled eggs and I would put salsa in it and then I would cook it. And what happens is, is it's way too watery. It takes too long to cook and they come out gray and muddy looking. So the best thing to do is to cook your scrambled eggs in a low temperature pan by themselves. And whatever you're gonna wanna put with it, put it on top. Don't put it inside here, because you're just going to end up with eggs that aren't yellow and fluffy looking. So we have the pan on probably a three and a half, and we're going to put a little bit of butter in here. It is a nonstick pan, but we want the flavor of the butter in with our eggs, right? And one of the keys to really good scrambled eggs is to cook them really low and the way you stir them really will create fluffy eggs. If you over stir it, your eggs will just look flat. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to take our beaten eggs and we're going to put them in the pan and put them in here slowly. Now my first instinct is to start scrambling them, right? But all that does is result in a bunch of curds that are all broken up. And that's why you get that flat look to them. What you want to do is you want them to start cooking. And as they're cooking, you're going to draw up the cooked part of the eggs towards the middle. And you're going to turn the pan and let the liquid go to the side and that cooks. And watch what happens. They come out really, really fluffy looking. So we're just going to let this set up. We have it on low heat and we're just going to let it set up really slowly. Okay, so now if you can see this, the curds are starting to develop. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our spatula and we're going to pull them in like this. And what happens is the cooked egg is going to move in and the liquid egg is going to move out. And these are going to result in a fluffy look to our eggs. And when the curds start setting up, they start setting up pretty quickly. So you just keep pulling them away as they cook and you let the liquid take the spot of the cooked egg. So 
So fold them over on itself a little bit to cook the interior of the egg. But you don't want to stir it too much because it's just going to break them up and they're going to look flat. Now what you want to do is you want to avoid cooking them too much and then browning because they're just tough that way. So just fold them over on yourself just like this and you will get nice beautiful fluffy eggs. You want to take them out of the pan just prior to them being totally cooked because they will cook a little bit on the plate. To the plate. Just like that. And we're going to give it a little bit of salt and a little grind of pepper. Um, if you don't want black specks in it, use some white pepper. I don't mind that. So I'm going to give them just a little grind of pepper. And now we can take a taste. Okay, so let's take a taste. I put a little bit of salsa on the side because I like the flavor of salsa. Mmm. It's really, really good. These are not my Grandma. scrambled eggs from days gone by. They're flat, they're gray looking, they're watery. These are fluffy and they're, the salt and pepper is great. The salsa is a great addition. Mm. They're not overcooked. Um, they're soft. They're fluffy. They're perfect. If you like this recipe, please try it out and give me a comment below. And visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. And don't forget to subscribe because there's more videos on the way. We're also on Twitter at twitter.com slash Amy Learns to Cook. I would say these scrambled eggs are pretty good. They're not rubbery, and they definitely look pretty and all that. So I'd give them a thumbs up. Well, after two or three minutes, they still taste good.